Pull it all out through your mouth. Big inhale through your nose. Blow it all out through your mouth. Big inhale through your nose. Blow it all out through your mouth. Now we're going to take 20 super ventilation breaths. So that's going to look like this. Just follow me, okay? I'm going to count with my fingers. Ready, go. I feel hopefully awake. All right, um, I love it. So we're gonna do five minutes of a, of a more of an active warm up today. There's gonna be four movements, really simple. The first movement is gonna be a bounce left to right. So left plus right equals one rep. Okay, left plus right equals one rep, and that'll just be here. One, two. So as sub starts to warm up, you can jump a little higher, maybe a little wider to the left and to the right. Um, I, I know the boost though you said calf is kind of bothering you. So in that situation, don't leave the ground. You know, you can still move like this and use the elasticity in your body and get some mo nice movement without ever leaving the ground. Um, so that should help. And then also too, 
as you get more warm, your calf might start to feel better. Think about elasticity in your muscle as opposed to forcing it. So forcing it would be just a violent contraction in the muscles doing stuff. Here, and using the elasticity, is just gonna naturally use, um, use less muscle. So you're, you're taking the, the elasticity to your advantage. <laughs> okay, so first thing is the bounce, left, right, left, right. Second thing is going to be jumping jacks. Just 10 jumping jacks, real simple, right? Out and in. And again, calf rate in the, on the calf. Maybe we just do this. So a little easy on the calf there, that's up to you. But the third thing is running in place. So just imagine you're going for a jog and left plus, uh, left plus right equals one. So one, two, real simple there. As, as, the, as the time progresses and you get more warm, feel free to go faster, lift your knees higher, whatever you gotta do to, to get yourself in that state. And the fourth and final movement is going to be an alternating Cossack slide. So for this one, we're trying to open up the hips and get low. All we're gonna do is start here. You can use your hands to walk left to right, and then maybe as you get more warm, we start to no hands, left to right. Each side counts as one, and we're gonna do 10. I'm tight, so at first I'm gonna use my hands, and then I'm gonna flow into no hands. So we're gonna do four movements. The bounce, 10. Jumping jacks, 10. Right in place for 10. And then the Cossack slides for 10. And we're gonna do that for five minutes, guys. Think about breathing. So breathing is gonna help you with, with, the, with part B of the, of the main chunk of today's workout. So in through the nose, out through the nose, in through the nose, out through the mouth is the next best option. And um, you know, you should really be there at this point. If, you, if you're a mouth breather, ideally, you know, it, it's better for you in the long run to start to develop your capacity to breathe through your nose. So if you need to slow way down, take more rest, so that you can start to develop the skill of nasal breathing, uh, a year from now, you'll be happy you did that. So we're gonna start. Today's gonna be fun. Lots of fun. Can't wait. All right, guys, so first thing is bounce left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then jumping jacks for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Run in place for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alternating Cossack slide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna bounce again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Right in place.
Back to the top. Jacks. It took like five or six drops of the iron. Equals one. 
So 10 per leg, okay? The second thing is a vertical jump. So we've done these in the, in the last, over the last couple of weeks. Vertical jump is just here, swing my arms. Boom, boom. So I'm just trying to triple extension, right? So triple means hip, knee, and ankle. They all extend at the top. 10 of those. The uh, third thing is a squat switch. So this one takes a little coordinating. I highly recommend starting slow, finding the coordination of the movement. It almost looks like a dance. And then speeding up as you get it. So what this looks like is we're gonna start at the bottom of the squat or just below parallel. It doesn't have to be at the absolute bottom. So maybe right here. I'm gonna come up and jump to this position and, and I don't stand all the way up and I come back down. And then I go up and down. So see what I'm doing? Boom. So I'm twisting my hips. That's a squat switch. If you try to do those fast, at the very get-go, it's gonna be a little confusing. I have to go slow and find the movement, then it just clicks and it's, it's the best thing ever. Uh, the fourth thing is a pulsing frog push-up. So we've done this, hands are out like this, right? We're gonna be on the floor. And this is 10, so I'm just here, boom. You don't have to go very low. And we're, I'm only moving my, my body maybe two, three inches up and down. One, two, three, four. So that's 10 reps. This, the next thing is a stationary gorilla. So this is kind of new. So from that same position, which is here, I'm gonna jump my feet up maybe two or three inches and back. So right here, see that? So that's your stationary gorilla. I'm jumping it forward and then back. I'm not jumping my legs back to where they're nice and straight like a plank, where, where the knees are bent the whole time. In, out, in, out. That's only gonna be five. After the stationary gorilla, we're gonna do something called a body roll. So watch me on this one. So I do my stationary gorillas, then I'm gonna roll here, do five more stationary gorillas, roll back, and then that's, then we go back the, down the other way. So we go back to the, the uh, frog, pulsing frog push-up, right? Then we do the squat switches, vertical jumps, and then run in place. So it's like a sandwich, if that makes sense, the way I look at it. So we're gonna go run in place, vertical jumps, squat switch, pulsing frog, stationary gorilla, body roll, stationary gorilla, body roll, then back to the frog push-up, the squat switch, the vertical jump, and the run in place. And everything is 10, except for the stationary gorilla's five, because we're doing it twice, and the body roll, we're just doing once each side. So, are there any questions? You guys are good. You guys are all good, huh? Let's do this. <clears throat> Sarah wants to see this. Ready? Red, red? Should I wear my shoes? Uh, I'm doing this barefoot. You guys do what you think is right. Uh, we're going to bring some fire, guys.
Ten pulsing frog. Gorilla, stationary gorilla. Body roll. Stationary gorilla. Body roll. Back to our pulsing frog push up. Squat switches. Count the squat switches. How? It's like one, two, three. So I go here. One, two, <laughs> three, four, like that. Thirty seconds, guys. Start round two. Woo! Is that what we're walking through, Sarah? Guys, you guys ready? Get all fired up here. Ready? Go! Run in place, 10. Vertical jumps. How was that, guys? This was hard. About 30 more seconds of rest, guys. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Two, one, go, right in place. 
Vertical jumps. Squat switches.
out through the mouth. So as you can tell, intensity is kind of up on this one. Your, your breathing should match as close as you can to your heart rate, you think of it that way. You're probably experiencing a high heart rate, so don't be slow. When I'm doing my movement, it's very... That's why we had the breathing warm-up that we did. If you can try to default to that pattern, the workout is a lot more enjoyable. 20 seconds. So do the pace that feels good. If there's a particular movement, I know this is a one round too short but late, but uh, if there's something that's just way too hard, skip that. Stick to what's easy and you can create intensity that way. I don't think anything, anybody can keep up with me either way, Martha, so my pace is pretty fast. I'm just playing, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Humble brag. All right, guys, ready? Last round, go! Run in place.
I'm on my squat switches. Breathe. job excellent job so we're going to finish off with a little bit of core and glutes um, glutes are really important not just to make them look good but they stabilize your body especially like your knee so if you ever have any knee problems um, first place that they'll try to probably tell you to strengthen if you see a physical therapist is your butt so we only not only squeeze our butt we want to strengthen our butt learn how to use our butt. Anyway, six minutes. It's uh, four movements, basically, and we're going to do a left side, right side type of thing. So, let me show you. First thing is a side plank clamshell. So, a side plank clamshell will look like, like a modified sand plank, sand plank, side plank. Can't talk. See? That was intense. Side plank clamshell is here. I'm going to push through this bottom leg to push my body in the air. Boom and down, okay? So we want to do 10 of those. Everything's going to be 10. So if for whatever reason, 10 is too hard today, and you can't do it without resting, drop the number of reps you do. So maybe you're doing five reps of everything to keep you nice and, and keep you flowing. We want to stay flowing, as uh, little as rest as possible. So for some people, 10 is going to be perfect. For some people, 10 is just a little over the edge. So. Make that call, you'll probably figure it out the first round. 10 side plank clamshell, which is here, again, boom. We're gonna stay in this position and do 10 fondas. So top leg, up and down. Then, I got my right leg down, I'm going to lay on my back and do 10 uh, single leg glute bridges on my right leg. So. I extend my leg like I'm trying to touch something with my foot, and one, two, ten of those, okay? So that would be the right side, ten, ten, ten. Then we're going to go into a supine toe touch, and it's just an isometric hold, so we're not moving. It's, a, it's a, just an isometric, like a plank, you don't move. And we're going to do this for a, a, a ten count. So the slower you count, the more burn you feel, the faster you count, the, the less. So just you know, listen to your body. It looks like this. Here, I'm gonna come up and hold that for 10. Okay? So try to keep your legs straight, point your toes, reach as far up as you can. Maybe you can get your hands past your feet. I don't know. So that's the, the toe touch. 
Then we're gonna flip over to the other side. So I just did my right. I'm gonna do my left, right? Like this, 10 of these, and then 10 of these, and then 10 of these. Right here, my left side, go back to our toe touch for 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna continue that pattern. Does that make sense, guys? Anybody have any questions? I have a question. Okay. When, um, on the fonda, do we care about the toe pointing down? What's that? On the fonda. On the fonda, does the toe point down? Yes. Yeah, yeah, good question. So on the fonda, you know, uh, think about your, your big toe. Your, that, that's, the fonda is the where my leg is straight and I'm coming out to the side like this, like Jane Fonda, that's why it's named that. Um, the toe needs to point downward. So if your big toe was a laser pointer, the laser would be constantly aiming towards the ground and you don't want it to accidentally aim up. That creates more uh, activation in our glutes and your hip, hip, it's good for your hip joint. So once you start to turn your toe up, your hip flexors and other muscles get involved. This one's for you, Arthur. All right, guys, you guys ready? Six minutes. Start in five seconds, guys. <clears throat> Go! First thing, side plank clamshell. 10 side plank clamshells. Good, 10 side plank clamshells. Awesome. After your side plank clamshells, stay in that position where you can come down, hips come down to the ground, and you're gonna do 10 fondas, up and down. Point that toe down, point the toe down. Don't let your toe point upwards. Point the toe down. Good. Once you get through 10 of these, lay on your back, and then the leg that was closest to the ground is the one that you're gonna push through. 10 uh, single leg glute bridges. Push through your heel, squeeze your butt. Push through your heel, squeeze your butt. After you get 10 of these, we're gonna do an isometric toe touch. Reach up as high as you can. You should feel your abs, put everything into your abs. Reach, 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 reach. Good, 10 seconds here. Do the other side and repeat. Everyone's doing good. guys, keep going. Coordinate the breathing now. Find your breath, rhythm.
two minutes left, guys. We got two minutes left. Good job, everybody. I highly recommend. Let's do a quick stretch, okay? Watch me. Um, got about eight, seven, eight minutes left. We're going to sit here. Go ahead and take your left leg and bring it out in front of you like this, okay? Left leg's nice and straight. I'm going to take my right leg, cross it over like this. Take both arms and I'm gonna bear hug my left, my right leg. So my right leg is crossed over my left leg. I'm gonna squeeze this right leg into me and just deep breathe. If this is easy for you, you can lightly push out in against your arms. So you could push into your arms to increase the stretch. Otherwise, just bear hug your leg, big inhale through the nose, slow exhale through the mouth. We're gonna do five deep breaths in this position. Go ahead and let your head hang down. switch guys that was five for me take long take do it as, as needed if you find that one leg is a lot tighter than the other maybe you, you spend a little more time on that leg so right here I'm on my left side now this one's definitely my problem child but I still love this leg
here, legs crossed, you can see me. I'm gonna take my hands and pull my feet into me and then pull forward and take five deep breaths. still with us, lay on your back, just get nice and comfortable. We got two minutes, I'm just going to do some deep breathing for two minutes guys. How slow can you exhale? Bam, bam, bam.